So you've got basically two variables. Uh, you've got the slope of the line and the y-intercept of the line. And you're looking for the function, uh, that uh, the slope and the y-intercept that gives you the function that minimizes the sum of the squares of the vertical distances from the line to your data points. So it's, it's really a function of two variables. You pick a slope, you pick a y-intercept, and um, you want to make the sum of the squares as low as possible. So it does fall into the category of uh, minimizing a function of two variables, the slope and the y-intercept. So this one, um, you have a set of data points, and basically what happens is you say, okay, what is the line of best fit? Where is that thing? And what the, what the picture does is it, um, it calculates the value of the, the sum of the squares of all those vertical distances, and it plots it on the graph. So for that particular slope, we can let the y-intercept go lower, we can let the y-intercept go higher, uh, but there's one particular value of the y-intercept that makes it about as low as possible, right in there somewhere. So we could think, hmm, I wonder if a different, um, I wonder if a different slope might be better. So you can make the slope go this way, and you can make the slope go this way, and the slope go this way, and the slope go this way. I wonder what value of the slope makes it as low as possible. Uh, maybe that one right there. But uh, let's look again at the y-intercept. Maybe we can make that go lower. How low can it go? It could go maybe as low as, what, 82 point something? Well, maybe a better slope uh, could be paired with that and make it go as low as 78. Sure, 78. Oh, well, let's try to change the y-intercept again. And so we keep doing this, and how low does the y-intercept go? As low as what? Uh, well, that makes the, the least squares some of the squares go as low as 77. Not the least, though, because if we change the slope, it'll go as low as what? Uh, 77. If we change the y-intercept, how low will it go? 74. If we change the slope with that y-intercept, how low, low will it go? It may go as low as 73 point something. I'm going to be hard pressed to make this go as low as 62.2. Um, I'm trying though. Oh, we're in the 60s. Where was that 60s? It was right 69.7. Was it right there? Can we go lower than 69.7? How about 67 point something? Can we beat that? 66 point something? Sure. Does it look like each time the line is, is lining up a little bit better and um, we, we want the line of best fit and that's the line that minimizes the sum of the squares of the vertical distances um, between points on the line and the data points and I don't know, will it go as low as 62? Come on, give me 65 point something, great. Can we go lower than 65 point something? Did you see a 64 point something? Yes. And then, you know, we do all this. 63. Did you see a 63? Yep. 63 point something. Maybe a little bit more. Can we go lower than 63.8 something? 63.7 something? Okay, 63.7 something is, is as low as it goes. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be late for my meeting. Uh, 63.0 something. Let's just make it go 62.2. Ah, there we go, there it was. I saw it. 62.9, okay, good <laughs> enough. All right, so you see what happens here is you trace all the points and what you're actually looking at, it's kind of skinny, but this is the graph of a paraboloid. Graph of a paraboloid, we can show the whole graph, it looks like that. Graph of paraboloid, line of the best fit. Best fit actually looks like that. We were pretty close to it. Minimum point on the graph looks like this. And how close were we to the actual slope and the y-intercept? Well, uh, the linear regression equation is actually that. So we're still off by a little bit, but uh, that's kind of the that's kind of the idea. Um, you can use partial derivatives and actually uh, come up with those formulas there. All right. Thanks so much.